Variance reporting helps to identify potential errors or unusual changes in your payroll values, saving you time by spotting problems before completing your payroll. Easily customize what you'd like to include in the variance report. When running your pre-update reports, you'll be prompted automatically if there's been any variances in pay. Let's take a look at variance reporting in Sage 50 Payroll. To customize your variance report, click Company, then click Variance Settings. There are three tabs to work through. In each tab, choose Yes to include an item in the variance report or No to exclude the item. You can set the report to show variances over a specified fixed amount or percentage by changing the variance type. To do this, use the drop down and then enter a value in the variance column. In this example, only variances in net pay over £100 will appear on the report. Choose whether you want the variance to be based upon average pay or last updated values. To ensure the variance reporting prompt appears when running your pre-update reports, check this box. To save your preferences, click OK. When you are running your pre-update reports, you'll receive a message if there's any variances identified. If you'd like to run the report, click Yes. The report shows employees with a variance this period. You can compare the last updated values for the previous period and the values for this period. You may see large changes due to a bonus or overtime, for example, or a small change due to PAYE and national insurance fluctuations. Please note, once you have updated the records, you can't get back to the variance report. This is only available as a pre-update report. You've now learned how to set up and run variance reporting in Sage 50 Cloud Payroll. To learn more about other areas of your software, register for our free webinars at www.sage.co.uk forward slash webinars. We hope to see you there soon.